Absolutely. Again, thanks for thanks for this. You know, I've enjoyed this since what uh, October last year, maybe two years. Yeah, about, probably two years. Yeah. Uh, so my first question is, how do you take your coffee? I take my coffee with almond milk and uh, iced. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, let's move along a little bit. This is the, <laughs> called the Kid Wall. Three cars you like had on your wall as a kid versus three you would have now. Okay. Well, uh, definitely uh, just about any BMW race car when I was a kid. Yeah. Um, any any Porsche was on on my wall, and that's probably probably flanked by a whole bunch of motocross bikes. Okay. So you know. So about if you were a kid now, what would you all like? Kid now, I, I'd have to say uh, I'd have to say Lotuses and. Uh, Probably Lotuses, Porsches, Porsches, Aston Martin. Okay. You know? I gotta look. Okay. Do you prefer um, the sound and exhaust, uh, let's say the sound of an engine and exhaust of a car, or maybe with older cars, the, the smell of the fumes? I like a fine balance between the two. Okay. You know? Between running the right fuel and getting it getting it through an exhaust that has no cats on it, it makes right. it sound really good. But yeah, that sound is pretty much uh, it's like the first when you're buying a car for me. It's got to sound good right off right off the floor there. So Til, until I tear the exhaust off and do so a whole new system. Something like a tune Ferrari or does it, uh, does it matter? Yeah, it's not bad. You know, it sounds good. Yeah, absolutely. Something that just you know, there's a different pulse for everyone, right? Right. So something that just floats your boat and just sounds good under throttle. You know, you feel the uh, you feel the Feel the engine churning and you know firing on all cylinders and just nice. hear that hear that good boring stroke. Well, I'll tell you I'll I'll tell you exactly how we got there. So um, three and a half years ago, no, maybe four years ago now, um, we were in Monterey for Car Week, and uh, I was I was up there with a bunch of friends, and there's just hundreds and hundreds of exotics all over the streets. It's like rush hour. And there's just passion everywhere for cars. And it, we didn't exactly get share the passion right away. We just realized we we wanted to bring this passion to Las Vegas. We live in a valley, and there's, there's some cool car stuff going on. There's a lot of fun. We, we Absolutely. We know a lot of people with great cars that are sitting in a lot of really nice garages. And we thought, let's get everybody together and share the passion. And so Espresso and Exotics was born. We were looking for a high-end coffee shop like Samba Latte. And we, we wanted to have a we wanted to have a, uh, a a great center like Boca Park to work with. We actually started over at Tivoli Village, outgrew them. It was beautiful backdrop. It was great. Came over here. I mean, you, as you can see, you know, we fit a couple hundred cars in here easy. Um, but you know, it's a great great get together. It's the second Sunday of every month. We we operate as a charitable co uh, company that we contribute all profits and proceeds to chari local charities, and we're very happy about doing that. You know, it makes us feel better about coming out and just wasting a Sunday morning and hanging around with cars and all our buddies. You know, right. so so it's uh, it's a good thing. We've donated thousands of dollars over the last few years. We're we're looking for our goal this year of ten thousand dollars. You know, we uh, yeah we're trying to trying to trying to set goals for the next year right now. So we. Uh, yeah, we're excited. It's growing bigger and bigger. We've got another license coming on in Huntington Beach real soon. We're working on a license up in up in Monterey, actually. And uh, we, the license requirements are very simple. You've got to give away money to charity. We, we ask for a minimum of three to five thousand dollars a year to, to your favorite local charity. And we ask that you get hundreds of people together and just have a great great amount of fun and share the passion. Okay. So how do you fundraise with that? Like? So we we sell logoed items on our website, which was actually just put just put up um, in, in its finality. We're um, always we have sponsors, money. like we have Tobin Motor Cars out here today. They brought uh, a Maserati Coupe, their their new uh, Bentley SUV, which is just amazing, and then the Ferrari California, which is classic, you know, timeless convertible hardtop. You know, you just can't can't beat. And uh, so Tobin comes out and they they bring a collection of cars. They bring some representatives and they make a contribution. We donate that to charity. Uh, Dream Racing is another one of our great sponsors that you can go out to the track and race in a race in a Dream Racing car. You can race a race car. You can race any exotic out there. Run for fun. It's very very inexpensive to get out there for a couple laps in a in a, in a car comparatively to a, running your set of tires on a track somewhere. Um, right, absolutely. And they've been great. They 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 donate uh, to us everything. We have a, we have a great time with them. They come out just about every other month. They're coming out next month. And they're actually going to do a, a giveaway session as well. That'd be exciting. And then we have um, one of our one of our early sponsors, Bush Realty Group. They're here every event. They set up a tent, sell the nicest homes in Las Vegas and Clark County, and they come out support us all the time. And, and uh, we have other other sponsor partners that we've worked with on a one-off basis, where you know some restaurants or 
um, some you know detail services you know, like Ohana Detailing. Uh, they sponsored us, helped out, give away, get some cars clean for the event, and just get us press out there. Um, we work strategically with with God and Porsche of Las Vegas to incorporate um, the love of love of the cars and the passion into into our events. They bring a lot of people out. We're actually planning a an event soon with them at their dealership. So we can we can make anything work as long as the, in the end it, it works for everybody that's here, you know, the organization and of course the, the charitable groups that we support. Well, you answered my second part of that question. I was going to ask if it's bringing any, if it's bringing any accomplishment in your life. Man. Kind of yes, it's a, it's a it's a it's a lot of fun, and it takes you know it's 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 one more um, one more organization that we run, and you know um, we have a, we have a great time with it. It's a it's a lot of fun. It it feels good to do this, you know, and. Um, you know, we make a lot of people smile. People come in and say, "Hey, am I in the right spot?" And you know, they're grinning ear to ear. They're like, "You know, where do I park? You know, what do I do now?" And we're like, "Just have fun. Just talk. Make some friends. You probably know a lot of people. Have a great time. Have a cup of coffee, and you know, welcome home." You know. Well, let's end this off, man. You wanna just talk to the mic? Tell us anything else you got going on. Of course, the pizza. You know. Oh yeah. Well, the, the restaurant business. That's a whole other side of life. But uh, yeah, that and uh, and our restoration business. Actually, my partner and I who who run run this shop. Yeah, we run Stuttgart Specialty Restoration. It's a, oh, that was your car. That's uh, yeah. We 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 bring a few out. Yep. That's that's one of ours. Yeah. We we specialize in vintage Porsche restoration. So air cooled Porsches, but starting with the 356, 911, 912, and and uh, yeah, very very boutique, very boutique, northwest side of town, and. Um, yeah, you know, it's it's a, it's a lot of fun. So we uh, we have a good time. We like to like to enjoy what we do. You know. So uh, check us out on second Sunday of every month, Boca Park. We're we're going to winter hours in November, eight to eleven a.m. And uh, right now we're seven to ten a.m. So come on out.